I'm back with one of my favorite cameras, a Nikon F4. Nikon's professional flagship F4 camera, seen here with an MB21 battery pack, boasts shutter speeds of 4 seconds to 1 8,000th of a second. The camera body weighs 1,090 grams. The F4 is auto-focusing, features matrix metering, and is auto-advancing and rewinding. On front of the camera is the flash sync terminal, the lens release button, focus mode selector, battery pack remote terminal on the MB21, a depth of field preview and mirror lockup, an autofocus lock, and an auto exposure lock. On top of the camera is a film rewind crank and ISO dial with a button to allow it to rotate. There's a hot shoe mount for flash, a viewfinder illumination window, a diopter focusing knob, and a metering system selector switch. There are also controls for the shutter speed exposure compensation, two button rewind function for safety, a multi exposure lever, an exposure mode selector, and a frame counter. And finally, there are the film advance mode selector and the shutter button. On the bottom of the MB21 battery pack are the battery compartment and tripod socket. This MB21 battery pack uses six AA batteries, and the smaller MB20 uses four. With the MB21, three batteries are loaded into a cartridge, and another three batteries are loaded into the grip. To load the batteries, the cartridge slides into the slot at the bottom. Before attaching the grip, make sure the switch inside is set for the right kind of batteries. In most cases today, the LR44. Then you can lock the grip in place. The MB21 also has a vertical shooting button. To load a roll of film, start by lifting the film rewind crank to pop open the back door. Place the film canister into the chamber on the left side. Pull the film across as far as the small red square on the right side. Close the back and make sure the film rewind crank is pushed back down. Turn on the camera by pressing the small film advance lock button and turning the dial to S. Press the shutter to advance to the first frame and you'll be ready to shoot. I'm back with one of my favorite cameras, a Nikon F4. This thing came out a year before I was born in around 86. It's the first time that a major flagship professional camera had both uh, auto focus and matrix metering in it. This has all kinds of crazy great features, all each coming with little manual buttons to get into them. We're not talking about menu systems here. There's a lot to learn when you're talking about how many buttons are on this camera. I sought this one out, it was my white whale. I was looking for this camera for years and I finally caught it in a pawn shop for about 200 bucks. Mine comes with the, uh, the MB21 battery pack on the bottom. I don't have another option, so it makes it nice and big. It's got this really great heavy feeling to it. I feel like a pro when I shoot it. I've been using it to shoot a series of motion picture film for the last year, and today I'm going to be shooting Pro Image 100. I'll show you some of the features like the exposure compensation. I'll show you. Uh, I don't play too much with auto exposure lock or auto focus lock. Mainly I just uh, I dial in my settings. I sometimes use the continual shooting. It can go pretty fast about, I think, like five shots or second or something like that. I'll have to look into that. But 
here we go. I'm on my lunch break. I'm gonna try to shoot some shots real quick. Tell you my impressions of this camera. I've spent a year shooting it, really love it. To turn this bad boy on, we gotta uh, hold down the little lock button and move the dial with our fingers. I'm pretty used to it at this point. Feel it click in. I'm gonna dial in a couple more settings. I don't need to, uh, I don't need to have it on minus one, no way. And I'm on 100 speed film, so I'll be shooting at 1 1 25th of a second. Autofocus is already going. Listen to the sound of that shutter. Love it. Love the little click. So such a stereotypical little mechanical noise. I have automatic film advance in this, obviously. You can hear it advancing each time I click. I'm gonna try to catch the back of this cyclist with some continuous uh, auto shooting. Wow, that was fast. I am using an AF Nikkor 50 millimeter one 0.8 lens and when you want to use it in auto mode uh, well I'm using it in shutter prio you see shutter prio is in orange up here on the settings uh, on the lens itself there's this little switch you flick it down to orange and if you can see the f22 in there right on the top of the lens well that you have to set it to f22 flick the switch and that allows the camera to take over and do all the uh, aperture and focusing for you but if you don't set those you're not going to be in manual so that applies to program high program and shutter priority uh, for aperture you don't have to do that I've been walking around with this camera for about a year holding it in one hand so I feel like you know I'm used to that grip but yeah it's pretty heavy this thing around your neck can get pretty tiresome so I've often been slinging it uh, diagonally across from one side to the other it's a lot to try to keep your head back all the time. Holding it up with one arm, well, I got a good strong arm, so no problems there, but yeah, that would get tiring for a lot of people. Don't really hold it in vertical mode too much, but sometimes I do, especially when I'm using that sneak kind of shot. I have a little button up here, so uh, I can really be holding my camera down like this. It doesn't look like I'm shooting, and I can click it off to get some real nice little candid shots. You know, I don't have to hold it up here when everybody you uh, distract somebody out of the moment. To change our metering mode on the Nikon F4, you can see up on the viewfinder, there's a little dial at the top. I have it currently set to spot or center weighted uh, and I think for the rest of this roll, I'm 10 shots through, I'm going to switch to matrix metering which accounts for the entire scene and tries to get an accurate exposure that way. I'm still at uh, exposure, I've dialed in an exposure compensation of about two thirds of a stop extra. I'm shooting on a very slow color film so I hope that gets me a little, a little bit more popping. Pretty good setup for your uh, autofocus servo there. You got this little dial on the side. I think you can see the M, the S, the C. There's for complete manual focus. There's for a single servo, like click it to click the shutter button halfway down to get it. And there's continuous so you can hold it down and it'll constantly be autofocusing for you. Uh, right now I've got it on continuous because that's what you want to use when you're shooting on continuous uh, shutter. There's a super robust uh, viewfinder setup on there. There's a little switch you can see on the left side of the porthole that will allow you to uh, close off that viewfinder if you want light not to leak in. Suppose you're doing a long exposure, any light bouncing around in there could make its way to the film plane, and you don't want that. 
And on the side of it, there's a little plus minus button you might be able to see on the viewfinder and that lets you just dial it in to match your vision. So if you wear glasses, maybe you're not going to need to press your glasses up against the viewfinder when you're taking your shot. I haven't used this Nikon F4 in a couple months. I've been shooting a lot on an autofocus point and shoot Nikon. And I gotta say, it's been 30, 40 minutes I've been using this again, even with the auto features. Like really happy to hold something big in my hand. And right now I'm gonna get uh, maybe some different depth of field out of the lens. So it's not just like it's tiny little 28 lens. Yeah, this is one of my favorite cameras of all time. The only one better for me is the Nikon F2. So this one, chock full of features. I got it to be a professional uh, studio camera. I've used it on the street so much. It's been a conversation starter. Uh, <laughs> I love walking around with a big old tank like that, watching everybody pass around with their Leicas. There's a thousand Leica people in this city. I've never seen anybody else walking with their Nikon F4. Not that it makes me exclusive, but like I just want to connect with somebody else who loves these cameras. All right, thanks for walking with me. Thanks for shooting. Check out the rest of the photos. Take it easy.